So in terms of demonstrating this, let's let's just play it. chords analysis and then the the time extended chords at the end are and you can hear how the flavor changes So that's kind of cool. Sirs and madams, wherever you are, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of Composing a Ballad Part 8, Regrouping. We did a regrouping exercise consisting of three steps. We looked at things that happened since our last stream, which was Part 7. And quite a few things had happened since our last stream. We completed composing a video highlight in a separate dream series. We completed some class assignments on the impact on humans of electric media. We composed a short snippet for a video of music. We attended a live music event featuring original compositions performed by the composer and songwriter. We looked at all of the uh, composing and ballad diagrams we had worked on to date, uh, parts one through seven. And we also had been watching some videos on math transformation methods. So that was things that happened since our last stream. We then did regrouping part two, things that we liked and things that we wished of those so one of the things we liked is in reviewing the diagrams we'd drawn to date, we liked having those diagrams to reference now and in the future. Another thing that happened was by watching that songwriter uh, singer, we said, oh, I wish we could perform our music live somehow. Um, in composing the little video snippet to go with the video and completing the whole video design series, said, oh, I'd like to further explore how music and video go together in a dual composition. Uh, looking at the math videos, I said, I want to explore something called the circle line approach to composing music. And then uh, the other thing is, since we've been building music design reference diagrams and now video design, it would be kind of neat to consolidate them and kind of see multiple factors at once. So that was regrouping part two. Then regrouping part three, is project things to try next, new or differently from this new perspective. And we saw quite a few things to do. Um, we might dedicate a stream to performing completed work. Uh, we could certainly consolidate and add some new music and video design factor diagrams. We can make another video with custom music. Uh, we could make a brainstorm concept sketch of circle line composition ideas that are still floating in our head, but if you get them out on paper, uh, continue working with adding to the music snippet. And that's what we ended up doing. Uh, we wanted to build on the idea of passing notes, which is where we kind of paused at part seven. And we have this idea of identifying chords, identifying chords within a chord implied by passing note arpeggios. And um, so we did that. And here we are. This is the little video snippet we composed that was an intro into a 20 minute video highlight. And we, and we played it with a rolling credit screen, yellow letters, scrolling down the screen kind of like a Star Wars thing and it was very dramatic you are a student and you're about to hear a lecture that's incredibly important to your grade because blah 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 and 
then we took that and we did a chords analysis over here and and we used our um, we used several things from our previous design factors in particular we looked at the intervals that were in that mel in that simple little da 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 da, da. and we discovered that um, the thing that went da 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 da, da had a consonance of 1.7 and where it ends da, 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 the unison has a consonance of 3 so this is a high tension and that's a low tension the other music factor in energy that we looked at was well, it starts out, da, 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 and then it goes, da, da, and then da, 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 da. So the tempo is increasing, and we're on a low consonance. So we gave it an energy score. The energy in these Sursu bars is 2.3. Then we went even faster. It jumped up to 3.3, and the fastest of all was 4.3. And then over here, even though we saw it fast notes, we ended up on a very long note, so the tempo really dropped, it, it decreased. And then we said, well, what is the consonance of these, all these notes? And that's where we went into the idea of looking at them as passing notes. E is passing down to the E below with three passing notes. And we said, oh, what chords are those? And, and we figured it out. So this is what, and then we also said, well, what chord is this? What is it when you have an E and an F together? Well, it turns out it's an E and an F and an E octave. And we calculated the consonants and, and added that to our sheet and everything. And this is what we came up with to, as, as, as if we put these chords along with the original melody, you'll hear how consistent they are. Since we're really focusing on what are the the passing chords, passing notes imply passing chords. So we we time stretched it and said, here's what those chords sound like. And that all of that is happening this fast. So where we're going to go next is uh, continue to let the regrouping exercise soak in a little bit. We've identified several things we want to try new or different when we come back and readdress the full ballad, uh, where again we left off with passing notes. Um, and we actually have some notes that we alluded to, uh, starting with the chord within a chord and then taking it from there. Thank you as always for your time and attention. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, please keep on streaming.